Based on observations and research done by the expert, it is now possible to see the Mayon volcano with a slow flow of lava flowing from the crater. Department of Science and Technology Secretary Dr. Renato Solidum Jr. explained that when this happened, this could lead to long-term activity. According to Dr. Solidum, the low number of sulfur it emits slows down the lava flow. The amount of gas inside a magma would be the set basis for the explosivity or type of explosion or eruption of a volcano. Kadalasan ay mga months ang binibilang. At base na sa ating mga experience, uh, 2018 for example, nagsimula ng January, March hanggang April. No, sa mga 3 months, usually, ang pinakamatagal. Ang pinakamabilis lang siguro na stay ng mga kababayan natin Uh, sa evacuation ng 2009, mga tatlong linggo lang yon, But typically, three months. Kaya yun po ang uh, binanggit ni, ng ating Pangulo na ang paghandaan ay 90 days. Governor Lagman displaced Albay residents because of this. Governor Grex Lagman is asking for 166.7 million pesos from the national government to ensure continuous assistance to residents. This is in addition to the support of the province for the next three months. 156.71 million pesos will go to relief services, 5 million for water and sanitation, 10 million for health emergency services, 10 million for temporary learning spaces for students affected by Mayon explosion, 5 million for livestock evacuation, 5 million for logistics and 10 million for emergency assistance. The governor stated that 30 million pesos from the province's quick response fund was used after the province declared a state of calamity on June 9. Uh, 30% percent lang po yung kinamit for 2023 that uh, amounts to 42 million 390,689 pesos. Uh, we we uh, thought it was prudent to only allocate 30 million dahil uh, kailangan po namin ng buffer amount in the amount of 12 million 390,000 pesos and change para po kung sakasakari magkaroon ng mga typhoon dahil typhoon season na po. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or PBOX recorded two volcanic earthquakes in the past 24 hours of Mayon volcano activity. In addition to this, PBOX also recorded 306 rockfall events or falling of rocks from the volcano which is slightly lower compared to yesterday. A slow flow of lava from the volcano crate was also observed again. Alan Manansala, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.